What's going on guys? I'm with the Moose and Tay. I'm back and we're talking about Football Outsiders. We're going to be opening some packs as well. Now Football Outsiders, if you guys are Mutt veterans, of course you know, but if you don't, they are players that come out every single Friday, usually around four or five players with, uh, you know, a big player. You, usually in the past was at least a, uh, you know, limited time player, you know, 48 hours in packs, something like that. This season, it looks like at least this week, that is not the case. Now it is kind of similar. You have, you know, a bunch of different players you guys can see right here. It says complete these sets to receive players highlighted by Football Outsiders for extended outstanding performances in each week of the 2016 NFL season. Now, we've only had one game in the NFL season, of course, last night. Panthers falling to the Broncos by one. It was a great game. Hopefully you guys watched that. It was a very fun one to watch. But since we've only had one game, obviously they're going to use players from the preseason and, got, and things like that. Now, they decided to make this um, based off the Football Outsider sleeper list, I guess. And it says, add the four Football Outsider sleepers list players and six sleepers list collectibles to this set to earn an elite Thomas Rawls with bruising back chemistry. So if you guys take a look inside the set, there are four players, uh, Quandre Diggs, Chris Conley, Eli Harold, and Daryl Williams. And then we have these six collectibles. Now, these are this is not something we've normally seen from Football Outsiders. We've never really seen sets from them. It's basically just been, you know, these four players we dropped in packs or whatever. And then, you know, there'd be a super elite or whatever you want to call it that was, you know, limited time or something like that. Or maybe a couple elites later on in the year. Now, this is obviously not the case. You cannot pull that Thomas Rawls. You have to get him from doing this set. Let's take a look at how much these players are going for. They're really not too impressive. At least some of them, this guy's going for 9K, only a 78 overall really not going to make too much of an impact on most teams and that's why i'm kind of not that hyped about this particular drop i'm really hoping they have better drops when the season actually starts because this one kind of underwhelming at least to me now chris conley going for around 15k and then the final one here is going to be quandre Diggs. i believe i believe that's at least his name never really heard of this guy 20k so they're all going for a decent amount even though they're not that good and then we have these sleepers list collectibles you need six of these bad boys and they're going for a bunch of coins twenty thousand coins right here so this set, at least right now, is going for a lot of, of coins, and it is just not worth it, at least in my mind. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think this set in particular is kind of trash. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that Thomas Rawls is going to be an absolute beast um, and make it worth, you know, wherever it's going to be, 150k to get this set done. But personally, I don't think it's worth it, and I'm hoping they have better sets and better items coming out when the season actually starts and I'm sure they will usually obviously everything you know kind of scales up as the season goes along you get better and better players as the season goes along but we'll see I'm not too hyped about these football outsiders but we're still gonna open some packs we gotta you know roll the dice a little bit see what we can get and maybe we get lucky and get one of those football outsider players since I mean they are still going for you know quite a lot so we'll see what we can get got a mutt's hip right there okay, did get a Kevin White I'm excited to see what he can do this year He's on one of my fantasy teams, and I'm really hoping that he can, uh, you know, show up and make make an impact on that Bears team because uh, he was drafted, I believe, last season, and then he got hurt for the entire year. Do look like an absolute monster, though. He's got great height, great speed, and I'm really excited about it. Got a Kirk Cousins right there. Hey, Donald Brown too, and a uh, Mutt Gear. So I guess I'll take it. Pretty decent pack, but you know, like I said, I'm just not that hyped about football outsiders this year. At least this week, I should say that this week. It's not that crazy to me. You know, I don't know why they, you know, stayed away from the limited time players. I think that was awesome last year. Um, I pulled, I think I pulled the preseason one, Latavius Murray, uh, you know, twice in one pack. Hope many of you guys remember that video. That video was nuts. But, um, but yeah, it was just a lot of fun last year. Always on Fridays, you'd be like, all right, who's the uh, limited time player? You always, you almost always had a couple, you know, standard elites that, you know, were just there as well. That were nice additions to the teams. Um, and they were relatively cheap too because there were no sets. That's kind of what I like the most about Football Outsiders is that the fact that they were You know fairly cheap at least compared to like team of the week players things like that because they weren't in sets and Not being in sets means that they're pretty much just going for the value of how good they are and not Based on the value of what you that you can get from them if you know what I mean, you know If something's in a set it leads to another item, you know, usually a better item, but if it's not in a set, it obviously is just based on what it's worth, you know, in terms of how good the card actually is, meaning that's going to cost a little bit less than if it was in a set. So, you know, I kind of like that about Football Outsiders last year, kind of hoping they go back to it this year, but I'm guessing not because, you know, they put in a set you know, the first week right here. And I'm guessing that's the trend they're going to continue on with, with what we'll see, I guess. Uh, you never really know. Let me know what you guys think of Football Outsiders down in the comments down below. I'm very curious to hear because I was kind of hyped about it. I was really excited today when uh, I knew they were coming out today. Waiting on them. Saw the tweet. Um, you know, checked Twitter, obviously, instantly and just got excited. And then I was like, wait, this is a set. 
and you need these collectibles and stuff and it's just kind of weird to me so i don't know we're gonna go final pro pack here though haven't gotten anything yet no elites no no like 80 overalls or anything got a duke ihanacho you know we got to get another one in there the dude's name is awesome um we got to get one more come on baby last pro pack last chance to get that 82 overall football outsider super lit pull <laughs> i don't know why they made those that is just uh, I'm, i just don't know what they were thinking with that but let's get it final pro pack give me an elite to end us out here Right here, Elite, and final card, and it's going to be a Josh Hill, 75 overall tight end for the Saints. So that will do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below. And like I said, let me know what you think of the Football Outsiders promo. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.